Let's fill in this table and graph this function g of x, and uh, we'll use this rectangular coordinate system to graph. And don't forget, we also want to talk about the domain of this function. But let's go ahead and get used to this function by filling in this table. If x is negative 2, I have the square root of negative 2 plus 2. That's the square root of 0, which is 0. If x is negative 1, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. If x is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. And if x is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. By the way, if you'd like to find the y-intercept of this graph, you would let x be 0. And notice if x is 0, you have the square root of 2. That's approximately 1 and 4 tenths. So there's our y-intercept. Let's plot these points, negative 2, 0, negative 1, 1, 1 to the left, 1 up, 2, 2, that's 2 to the right, 2 up, 7, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 3 up. There we go. And look, here's our y-intercept, 0 left or right, 1 and 4 tenths up. And notice that fits in. By the way, look at these points. Look at your table, and what is the domain of this function? We cannot let x be a value less than negative 2 because we would be taking the square root of a number that is negative, and we won't have that on our rectangular coordinate system. So the domain is from negative 2 to infinity, and we can let x be negative 2 as we did here, so notice I have a bracket there. Let's graph then by starting here at the smallest x value and drawing a smooth curve through these plotted points. There's the graph.